Hi, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. So today we will continue and we will practice the writing process. But today, instead of copying Miss Moore's story, we will write our own story. So hopefully you've been thinking about what animal you chose last week to describe today, or you've been thinking of a new animal that you can describe. This is important so we can become better writers. So let's go ahead and talk about our writing process. So we want to do our pre-write before we start writing, which is our brainstorming and thinking about what our animal looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, what it eats, and how it feels. And then today we are going to pick up our pencils and we are going to start drafting where we finally start writing. And then before you take a picture, you're going to go back in and revise and see if you can add any adjectives in. And you're going to edit and make sure you have those capital letters and periods. And lastly, tomorrow we are going to do author's chair again and publish our writing. So first, we brainstorm. So let's start thinking about how we can describe our animal. How can you describe it? How does it look? What does it look like? Is it fluffy? Is it big? Is it small? Is it soft? Is it um, orange? Is it black? Is it blue? Is it purple? What does it look like? How does it feel? Is it soft? Is it rough? Is it slimy, cold, hot, scaly, like maybe a fish or a snake? What sound does it make? Does it zzz? Does it ruff, ruff? Does it rawr? What sound does it make? Where does it live? What kind of habitat does it have? Does it live in a nest? Does it live under the water? Does it live in the desert? Does it live um, in a tree? Where does it live? How does it smell? Is it stinky? Does it smell good? I don't know. Flowers smell good. What does it eat? Does it eat dog food? Does it eat fish? Does it eat flowers? What kind of food does it eat? So yesterday you were able to practice with me, but today you are going to be writing on your own. So here is something that will help you in your writing. If you are having such a hard time figuring out what to write on your paper, you could follow these sentence starters. My favorite animal is a blank. It is fast, slow, big, small, medium size. It is the color blank. Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it gray? It makes the blank sound. It makes the roar sound. It makes the bzzz sound. It lives in the blank. So, if you need help figuring out what to write, you can follow this, but you have to tell me about your animal. You can't just copy this and leave it blank. You've got to fill it in. Here are some words for your word bank if you need to use these, and I'm going to read them to you so you can work with them. Penguin, tiger, dinosaur, dolphin, shark, lion, elephant, lizard, cheetah, Penguin, shark, zoo, eat, eagle, squirrel, sloth, koala, giraffe, zebra, wood, because, huge, fast, slow, dangerous, nice, soft, hungry, angry, beautiful, amazing, fly, sky, ocean, live, sleep, forest, and aquarium is down here. 
So when you're all done with your writing, you want to make sure that you check over your writing checklist and use a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence. All your sentences should have a capital letter. You want to make sure that you're using finger spaces in between your words. Did you use ending punctuation? Question mark, period, or exclamation point? Did you use the word wall to help you spell the word wall in your classroom? And also, the word bank right here will help you. If you've done all of that, you're going to take a picture and upload your story to Google Classroom. I'll be looking at all of them, so I can't wait to read your stories. So today, we learned how to begin our own story on our own. And tomorrow, we'll be sharing in the author's chair. Awesome job today, guys. Bye. Good luck with your writing.